The relationships you make often determine your future. They can help you achieve your goals faster or prevent you from ever getting there. Chris Hogan, an author who studied the lifestyles and habits of 10,000 American millionaires, found that they all had one thing in common. They all keep these four crucial relationships in their lives. And number three and number four are often overlooked but are extremely important, so make sure you stick around to hear them. Hey, I'm Laurieann, co-founder of Dow Jeans and a money coach. And if you want more free content like this on being financially successful, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, here are the four relationships that rich people have. Number one, a coach. A coach is someone who stays on the sidelines and tells you to get back up when you fall down. They help you achieve a specific outcome. A sports coach would put you through drills so that you can excel in your sport. A life coach may encourage you to set up boundaries so you can better enjoy your work-life balance. And a financial coach would teach you the strategies that you need to live with financial freedom. A financial coach can help you relate to money in a healthier way, develop better habits, and achieve positive growth. And they can give you the education and encouragement that you need to reduce financial stress and confusion. And they can also give you accountability and support that you need to achieve your financial goals. A financial coach can help you understand your spending habits, create a budget, outline a financial plan, understand the emotional components of dealing with money, and help you to establish an emergency fund or get out of debt. A coach is really invaluable to achieving your goals. They provide the support, the know-how, and the accountability. And that's why we incorporate financial coaching into our program, The Million Dollar Year. If you wanna hire a financial coach, just be sure to research your options. Reach out to at least three possibilities and get clear on what you want them to help you accomplish. The second relationship that rich people have is a mentor. So if you think of a coach as more performance-driven, it's about hitting the quantifiable financial milestones that you want. A mentor focuses a little more on personal development. It isn't just about hitting the right milestones, it's about becoming the type of person who has wealth. A mentor is someone who has already accomplished what you want to accomplish. They're on the same path, they're just a few miles or a few years further ahead than you are. To find a mentor, first figure out your financial goals. What is it that you're trying to do? Are you learning how to get out of debt? Are you trying to earn money from investments? And then find someone who has accomplished that themselves. Ask if you can grab coffee with them every couple of weeks and save up some questions so that you can have a meaningful conversation with them. There's a few different types of questions you can ask a mentor. You can ask them questions about their story, about how they achieved what they did and about any failures or successes that they've had. You can ask them about a certain situation that you're in and what their advice would be for how to overcome any obstacles. You can also ask them for constructive criticism, if they see any areas where you can improve or where your strengths and weaknesses are. And I would recommend asking them about what skills you need to develop in order to achieve what you wanna have and help them have you direct your focus. That's actually how Dow Jeans got started. Some of Britt's friends wanted to start investing like she did. And so they asked her basically for mentorship, if she could teach them how to invest. And soon that turned into regular meetings where Britt got the idea to start a personal financial education company to help more women plus learn how to take control of their financial future. The third relationship that a rich person has is a cheerleader. And I know, because I was a cheerleader. Yep, back in high school, this girl right here captain of the cheerleading team. And for those of you in the US judging me right now, just know that cheerleading in Canada wasn't quite what it is in the US and cheerleaders were unfortunately not cool. We weren't, it was not cool to be a cheerleader. Anyway, all right, I was a cheerleader because um, I really loved getting thrown in the air. That was super fun. And I'm still a cheerleader for people in their lives and rich people keep a cheerleader in their life. A cheerleader is someone who just believes in you and encourages you no matter what. And the best cheerleader is someone who knows how to pump you up, how to make you feel good. They understand the challenges that you're up against and they remind you that you can make it if you keep going. So if you have a really supportive friend or a supportive significant other, they can be a great cheerleader for you. After all, that's a big part of doing life with someone. Having someone that you can call up when you're struggling or having someone that you can bring good news to and go celebrate with when you reach a milestone is a huge deal. The fourth relationship that rich people have are friends. 
These are the people who are here for you regardless of where you are in life or what your goals are. They're the ones that you can go on vacation with and invite over for card games, and they make your current life sweeter and remind you of everything that you have to be grateful for now. Personally, I find a friend who is pursuing a similar goal to me to be just awesome. Like it's so great to have a friend that I can share my experiences with when I'm in the pursuit of building something even better for myself because everything is more fun with a friend. Now, achieving your financial goals is much, much easier when you have the right support in place. Whatever your financial goals are, these four relationships, a coach, a mentor, a cheerleader, and a friend will make all the difference in the world in how swiftly and easily you achieve those goals. So who do you have in your life right now in these roles? Where are you missing someone and where is someone hitting it out of the park for you? Let me know in the comments. And if you are looking for a financial coach or mentor, you may be interested in our program, The Million Dollar Year, where you get access to financial coaches to answer all of your questions and help keep you accountable. And you get mentorship from Britt and I leading the community. This is all included inside The Million Dollar Year. So you may wanna check that out if you are looking for more support in achieving your financial goals. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.